Okay, a bit of a review. We're on um, the Midah HaHei in the Tomer Dvarah Lohefsa Vladapo. Look inside today. And what we learned on Sunday <coughs> was the first half of this, which was the uh, first half of this, which was the uh, theological part of the Midah HaHei, which is the, the Hanhaga Vakadosh Baruch Hu. He says, Zumi da acher shafil la da machzik bechet, ena kodesh baruch machzik af. The principle is that we do find um, in Tanakh that a kodesh baruch who gets angry, but, we, uh, but he doesn't stay angry. Even, even though a kodesh baruch who does say, he says, Vayichar af. It's a pella. Vayichar af Hashem. Hashem gets angry. Um, so that's a chiddush unto itself, but sometimes an anger could be an everlasting anger, especially when we talk about a Baruch Hu, where everything's eternal. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't live in a temporary world. So to, to lose your temper for a moment is something we attribute to humans, not to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But the Teretz is, says the, the Timur Dvar, that Vayichar Af Hashem, when we talk about HaKadosh Baruch Hu getting angry, it's, not, it's a different type of anger, and hence we have to learn about it. We have to examine our own anger if we do get angry. It's a different type of anger. It's not an anger that's coming from um, hate or coming from. Uh, it's, it's an anger which is there to affect a change in the person and the world. It's, it's not an anger because I'm upset. It's an anger because um, this is Akadosh Baruch Hu's in the Bria and how it can possibly help you. It doesn't mean that it's a fake anger. It just, it, I just want to make this clear, I think, on a, on a deep level. It doesn't mean it's a fake anger. You have to worry about Hashem's anger. There was a carbon by Semitish, by Yisrishin, by Shane. You have to worry about Hashem's anger. It's not fake. But what it is, it, what, I'm, what it means is it's, come, it's an anger which is coming from um, a toivas Yisrael. It's not an anger which is coming which, are like, I'm sick of this. I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. So um, that's, that's a different type of, it's, it's a different suk of anger. Right? You with me on this? So we, we spoke about this for a while. I was thinking as a, as a, as a boss, I, just, uh, I don't know if you agree with me or this or that, but um, you know, when I think about the, like Loya Lena, Rahman al Islam, you know, the, the, uh, you know, all the scandals that are going on in, in Kwa Yisrael. So, uh, <coughs> you know, I, w- I was thinking to myself that like all of these people are like abusers and uh, perpetrators and uh, it's very, I mean, my, uh, a little bit of experience with it, not personally, but personally with other people. It's, it's, it's um, I don't think it's about Taiva, I think it's about Gaiva. Uh, that's, that's what I think. I don't think it's about, like, Taiva, like a person is, uh, you know, per, you know, you want to take a look at pornography, just plenty, go to the internet, like, just, you know, I mean, that's Taiva. But Gaiva is this need to lord over another person and control another person and, and to think that you're um, insurmountable and uncatchable and, and, and nobody nobody will ever that's 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 Gaiva. So like you can see um, how like one wrongdoing or one one type of anhaka could come from a number of different Mikomos. Um Kas also like Kas um, can come from Gaiva. I think it usually comes from Gaiva, but it could also come from um, a sense of what's right and wrong, and a sense of, of not being tolerant to something which is evil, and no, this is not what we're going to do in my family, in my house, in my community, in, in the world at large. It's also a certain caste, but that's called um, Roiges Kadisha. That's a Pinchas Roiges. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a Roiges which is not coming from any guy at all. There's a certain um, um, uh, kanois, but I'm talking about a very holy kanois of a sense of right or wrong, and I'm going to speak out about that. So Avraham Avinu had that type of arogas. I mean, how, you have to be barogas a little bit to break all your father's idols. <laughs> I guess, like, that's weird, right? I mean, uh, uh, he, he was the ultimate and original iconoclast. That's what it means. Icon in a class, and he takes icons and he breaks them apart. But there, that, there, there's a certain, um, I, I don't know the other word, there's a certain kas which is there, and that kas is, is um, made out of Ramavinu. So it, it really is not about the kas, it's about where it's coming from. 
It's about is it coming from Gaiva, is it coming from Taiva, or is it coming from a sense of right or wrong, or even better, coming out coming from where what's what's gonna work? An effective way of, of of dealing, which is a slippery slope because you know, like that's also Gaiva if I'm deciding what's gonna work for you for a Kodesh Baruch it's fine. Uh, maybe for a two year old child that don't run into the street, I'm very angry at you. But like you know, us you know, trading other people is also like a <laughs> A little bit, uh, um, what's the word, uh, you know, a, a little bit uh, of gaiva there. When the Torah refers to Hashem's anger, like for instance, like this week's Parsha, right? It's not coming from a place of gaiva or type, the Rav said. Then the Rav brought up Pinchas' anger, which is not our anger either, coming from Also place of not gaiva. coming from gaiva or type. Okay. Right, so is that the same type of anger in the sense that did Pinchas achieve? A type of anger that only Hashem could could achieve, right? Or is that, is that no, a third no, you're, type? You're 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 saying a good thing. Like everybody asks this. Everybody, let me just re rephrase yeah. that. Like everybody asks that if we're supposed to be emulating Hashem, and that's what the whole sefer is about. So Hashem has the kabbalah. Kel the kabbalah Hashem. Why should we take out the kabbalah? Hashem Hashem. We should be getting angry all the time. <laughs> it's like Hashem is getting angry. The the answer is that we can be. I mean, lachora. Um, there could be a chiv to be rachum the way Hakadosh Baruch Hu is rachum, but it's very difficult to be angry the way Hashem is angry because um, to to be rachum without nagius, without my personal, it's difficult, but it's doable. To be angry with nothing in it for myself is a, is, a, is an almost impossible task. We could try, but to say that there's a chiv, there's a chiv. So Pinchas must have achieved kanoi es kinasi beside Israel. He was angry for my anger. He was jealous for my jealousy. That was a, it was a, but again, you know, this is a very delicate point and it's going to become more delicate when it comes to doing it. You know, actually, but what, I, what I'm saying is that it's really not about, you know, losing your temper, not losing your temper. It's really about like examining like what pushes our buttons and figuring out um, like what pushes our buttons? What like what is it that really gets you angry? You know, we can argue a whole bunch of others. That was right. That was a sense of right and wrong. But it's it's um yeah, it's, a, it's a difficult it's a difficult mice a, a, a little bit. Yeah. Just to share one experience on this to help us understand it. The we're talking here of the, really it's an anger that's coming from a place of of caring, almost of chesed that I want to help this person straighten themselves out and, and this meat of anger is going to somehow shake, somehow shake, shake, them shake up. it up. Right, shake it up. So I remember when our kids were young, the Rosh Hashiva by their cheder, he used to tell all the Rebbe's, please send the boys to my office frequently. Okay? But nine times out of ten it's to give them a nachis for something great they did. So the one time that they do something out of line, they realize that the whole thing That's is why really frequently. Meat of Context. Context. There's there's a lot of simonim. I, I, I just there's a lot of simonim to um, bad anger. <laughs> what like one of them is like uncontrolled, uncontrollable anger. Like if you're if you're like totally out of control and you start breathing crazy and hyperventilating and all like, like there's something that's not that's not, I don't think Pinchas was hyperventilating, but I don't think he was either. You know, just like um, like a, like a hardened uh, you know anger guy. I think I think he was reacting to. Um, there's, there's this one has to have the same as Avraham Avinu, same as Moshe Rabbeinu by Yachas Abitzri. Moshe blew it with the rock. With the rock, he blew it. Interesting. And with the Mitzri, he was okay. So he didn't get it for hit, for killing a Mitzri. He got it for hitting a rock. Like an interesting thing. Why? Right. Why? Because hitting the Mitzri was a, was a sense of social justice. Hit the rock for him. So I mean that that's how. That's how careful. Like that's how darkistic it is. You know, he hits him. He hits him. A human. Seder. <laughs> you hit a human. Why? Because this is wrong. It's just wrong. What's going on? What are you hitting a rock? That's already reacting, and that's that's how. Like, it's frightening. It's frightening to me. It's frightening. That's why I keep on talking about it. It's a therapy for my own fear. But it's the, it's frightening how careful we have to be, and it's also frightening to me how much all of us, and I certainly include myself, as I fool ourselves in this regard, and we justify uh, anger. It's very difficult to be angry like God is angry. And that it's, that it's totally um, recipient-centered, it's totally out of, like like you say, out of chesed, not, not, not out of gevura. It, it's a different, let me, let me show you something here. <coughs> Maybe anger is the wrong word. And the, the human 
not row not. That zoom in on promotion doesn't seem to have a parallel with with Hashem, with Kaas, who we were describing Hashem. It doesn't say anywhere, uh, as, which is a point that I brought out on Sunday, it doesn't say anywhere in the whole Torah that Hashem was Bekas. Ayichas Hashem. It doesn't say. He's a different word for it. Harodaf. Ayicharaf Hashem. So, uh, yeah, so, which I, I'm saying means what you're saying is I believe 100% true. We're not talking about kas could be zasir even for Hashem. It could be, could be kas is not something. It doesn't say by, by Pinchas that he was but kas either. So kas to me is, is a um, is kas, not sure what the etymology of it is, but, but the, the, the understanding of it is, I think, that it's a told of gaiva. Bottom line is like, you have affronted me. It's not social order, social justice. It's like, like Magiali Kacha, and you didn't, and you didn't uh, do it. You know, like, uh, you know, you know. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Like, um, like a good exercise. You know, like if you're driving in the street. So, um, well, I mean, we're also going to drive. <laughs> driving in traffic, and uh, somebody cuts you off. You know, so like, <laughs> you like you. You bang on the horn, you know, like, when I first came to this country, like, uh, there's so many horn like, you get, a, I think, a $250 fine in New York for, for walking on the horn, so probably there's something they should institute here also, but, uh, and, and, and just like everybody's honking, go faster, go slower, turn, go over the right leg, go to the left leg, there's a honking, 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 like, a, 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 it just reminded me of, like, you know, you know, like, when you're, when you have a little kid, you put him in the other seat with one of the, they have these things, like, these little toy cars, you know, and the whole time he's dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like that's what driving means to him. <laughs> like, you know, pushing out the horn. But like there, there's a there's a certain uh, like uh, like why do we honk? Like, an interesting thing. It's just is it, if it's a way of averting danger. Okay, that's what the horn is for. Is it a way of doing that, or is it a way of screaming? Like I can, I have a louder horn than you have. You know, I'm a truck. <laughs> like, I, can really, I can really intimidate you. So is it is it is it a for? It's just like an interesting thing to think about. So it's a good exercise. Like every time you're about to um, to to hit the horn, like to think for a second about why I'm hitting the horn. And by the time you think about it, like for all of our, like every, everything's over already and it's okay. But it just is it, this this idea of honking. You know, it's it's a, you know to teach somebody else you know a lesson not driving correctly you know if if our shayon shocha like you know, what's the or to, or because you 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 insulted me like you took by schus I had a kadima and you took it you know but like it's 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 a good example of where I think like people lose it on a regular basis it's better than it's better than on the kids I think but it's still um, like it's a uh, yeah can, can we learn from the, the Moshe Beno incident that. Like, you could say, like, I got angry, but nobody got hurt, right? So let's say you're in your car, and you beep your horn so the other guy hears it. Let's say he doesn't hear it, right? Let's say he's completely oblivious. Mm -hmm. He doesn't hear it. Now, Moshe hit the rock. He didn't hurt anybody. So in other words, is it, is it Osir even alone to reach that level of cost? That's exactly what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with the effect of it. It has to do with what I am. It's exactly, it's exactly the point. In other words, you hit a bitsri, like that's a terrible thing. You killed a bitsri, that's even a worse thing. But it wasn't kas. The, 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 the issue of Osher Abedo hitting, uh, hitting the, the rock seemed to be a, uh, an act of frustration, an act of, uh, what's he hitting a rock with? <laughs> what are you hitting the rock for? You know, what are you doing it for? It's, there's some kind of frustration, some kind of a, a second of loss of control. I mean, I hope we're not judged on that level, like if you bang on the table, like, you know, okay, you're out, <laughs> you can't live in Eretz Yisrael right. anymore. <laughs> but, I mean, but, I mean, but Moshe Rabbeinu was, was judged on that, uh, I just want to, I don't know the answer to this, I just want to point out that um, when we're talking about the snap um, on Sunday, we're talking about Mazah B'yodecha, the Mazah, Mazah Hashem said, what do you have in your hand? So Mazah is Gematria Ben, 52, and, and uh, before you get angry at the Jewish people, before you get, up, get upset and call them that they're not going to listen to me, and think about them as, as your children, as, as, a, as what we said. If you look at this whole con conversation here, it goes on and on for Psukim about this uh, long, long conversation, and Hashem saying to him, um, I want you to, th bottom line is, he says, I want, you to, I want you to go and save the Jewish people. And Moshe Rabbi is coming up with every argument not to do it, they're not going to listen to me. Um, you know, Aaron is going to get upset. Uh, 
who am I? I'm not, talk I'm not a speaker, I'm not a talker, you know. And on and on, and Akash Baruch Hu, Akash Baruch Hu is, is, is like patiently um, answering every one of the, the um, siruvim of Moshe Rabbeinu. It's almost the whole parak Gimel of Shmos, and then parak Talad. Vayan Moshe, Vayomer, Vehein lo yaminu li, Vayishmu v'koyli. After everything, after Ki lo direi lecha, you got every lo direi lecha. Hashem, they're going to say you did, you know, um, Hashem never really appeared to you. Vayomer elav Hashem ba'ziv yadecha. Succeed the decree. The decree is maze. The succeed. What it says is maze menzu zayin hey, which is fifty-two. Vayomer mate. It turns into a nachash. Everything's great. Vayomer Hashem al Moshe. Sorry. After after all of this, the demonstrations, and he says, "I can't talk." Vayomer Hashem elav mi sam pel la adam, mi yasum ilang, mi cheresh. Who gives a person the koach hadivor? Stop saying you can't talk. Patient, patiently, leadership training. Very, very patient with Moshe Rabbeinu. You can do it. I mean, after this was a huge task. I mean, think about it. It was a double. This was a double problem. First of all, he's dealing with superpower Mitzrayim. You know, you know, you know. Shmuley, go in front of the president of the United States and change his thinking about the Middle East policy. Okay, <laughs> how am I going to get it to him? What am I going to do? I'm not such a speaker. That's one problem. Next problem is that um, go tell Klai Yisrael. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Even a bigger challenge. You can, do, you can deal with. You can deal with the government. We can deal with them. Klai Yisrael. Yes. Okay. They're going to accept me as a governor. So Moshe Rabbeinu had a big. You know, this was a double, a double thing. And, and Hashem was patiently leading him along. And then Moshe Rabbeinu says at the end of the whole conversation, Vayoymer, be Adonai, please Hashem, Shlach na biad tishli. Which seems like the the. This is his last. Argument. Shlach no biyad tishlach. What does it mean? What's a positive shot? Simple shot. What? Send someone else. Send somebody else. else. At the end of the whole thing. Like, like, like you know, why me? <laughs> I really don't want to do it. At the end of the, I just really don't want to do it. Shlach no biyad tishlach. So Rashi says, Shlach no biyad tishlach, biyad bishat terogel ishloyach. You have your, your men who are own. And Aaron, my brother, a good man, speaker, well dressed. He's, he's the he has the he has the um, the, the, the faith oh, right. of the people. He's with the people. He's there at Mitzrayim. Dover Achirash says second shot. Beyond Shatir to send with whoever you want. Should be she'ain soifi lahachnisam laaretz liyos goyal laosid. It's an amazing Rashi. Rashi Rashi saying that Moshe Rabbeinu saw at this moment. The Shemayim was open to him. So at this moment, he had a Ruach HaKodesh that I'm not going to go to Eretz Yisrael. So send, send, you know, send somebody, send Mashiach. Like if I'm not going to finish the job and I'm not going to bring them to Eretz Yisrael, send with somebody else who's, who's better. The, the, um, the Targum Yonas from Menuzil. The Amar Bevo Barachman Min Kadama Hashem. I beg you, Hashem, shlach kedoin shlichusach. Send with one of your big time shluchim biyad pinchas. The chavei lemishtelcha b'soif yamayu. Why? Because pinchas, he says here in the Pirish Targum, zu eliyahu. <laughs> so, like, like, get to, get to the point. Like, like, you don't want me. If you want to be, this is a ruach hakodesh that he saw. And even after this, he's crying. And v'schadar el Hashem, he wants to go to Eretz But at this moment, to the snap, way at the beginning of the story, it was, it was core to him. That he's not going to be the Mashiach. He's not going to take the Mitzrayim to Israel. He's not going to build the base of it. This will send somebody else. This was this was Moshe Rabbeinu's final argument in the court of Hashem. Right? Says says the Torah, Vayichar Af Hashem be Moshe. Oh, Moshe, Hashem got angry at Moshe. Vayichar Af Hashem be Moshe. Like the whole time, he get angry. They're not going to listen to me. I can't talk. Uh, uh, you know, who am I to go to Paro? Everything, everything. Hashem, patient, patient, patient. Now, shlach no biyat tishlach. This is the first time Hashem got angry. So why did he get angry here and he get angry before? What was the what was the nakuda? Said someone what else. Huh? Because he said someone else. Yeah. So why did that make? Uh, <laughs> 
because you don't want to listen. The whole time he's saying somebody else, yeah. somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. He's finally already he's finally addressed all of Moshe Rabbeinu's objections. And Moshe Rabbeinu still doesn't want to take the job onto himself. That's already that's already. Uh, so what's the just just finish the finish the Nakuda meeting. As long as your objections are logical, you know, you have, are, as long as your objections are legitimate concerns, how am I going to talk if I can't talk? You know, how, am I going to, how are they going to believe me if they don't know me? Um, I need to do some kind of a miracle. I need, to, I need to make a, take the stick and make it into a snake and back. Okay, those are legitimate strategic concerns that a person is not only entitled to have, but they're intelligent to have these concerns, like I rather I, you know, your mission, if you should accept, decide to accept it is, so okay, I have my questions, I don't have to be like, uh, like but after, as, as, as Osha says, like after all of those concerns are, 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 are met, all those concerns are discussed and solved, so now what was this? This was just you're frust giving it, you're giving frustration, up on it. You're ego. Giving, you're giving up on me. Right, or it's like, it's, it's, it's even, it's ego, or it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. If I'm not going to bring the final geula, that's what Rashi says. If I'm not going to bring the klal yisrael, teretz yisrael, then get somebody else. Like, is this is this correct? Is, is this correct? In other words, like if somebody asks you, if I ask you to get, can you take care of this? Well, if I'm not going to do the whole thing, and I'm not going to, you're not going to honor me at the dinner for it, then I don't want to have to do just a little piece. I want to have the real. I want to do the whole thing. But who, who talks like this? Isn't that that's a good time? Why? That's Hashem's. That's that's Malchus. Yeah, but he, he, we said before. So apparently, like well, it's Moshe Rabbeinu. So I mean, I'm sure it was a good time. But 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 what apparently was like hitting the rock. That's that's by uh, by by Chiddush here. It was a um, the the earlier concerns were strategic concerns. This concern is a sort of an emotional concern. Now, it's not that we're not supposed to be emotional, but we're not supposed to let our emotions make us stop, stop us from doing a good thing. That's the emotional. And, and it wasn't even fear. He was already afraid before. That's already, that's even still acceptable. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But, but when it's, when it's um, a drop of ego, as you say, or I mean, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to talk, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk. But but all of a sudden over here, by Yichar Af Hashem, Moshe. So there was a meeting connected me. A meeting connected me. Meeting. Okay, you're taking. You're taking that tariff. You know, it's all or nothing. Get get a Leo and Novi. You want Mashiach? Get a Leo and Novi. Get Pinchas. There's better people. You want a Mashiach? Get a Mashiach. It was almost like a taunting of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, you know, like you're not letting me do the whole thing. You don't hold to me. You're not letting me bring him into Eretz Israel. So the Zeruch Hakadosh, I probably, I'm guessing, I'm guessing now, you probably didn't even know why he's not going to go into Eretz Israel. He didn't know about the rock story. He didn't, he didn't know the whole story of what, how it's going to unfold. He just saw at the end, he, he when, when the Shabbat was open to him and he was able to see everything, he saw that he's not the one with the stick who's splitting the yard. He saw, you know, it is, it is, it is roa asitus. He probably didn't even know why. So I'm not the man. So there you have a yichar avashem. So could you argue that if he didn't take it that far, like the rope connected to the rock, if he didn't take it that far, the rock incident may never have happened. In other words, why? like, like if, if a person commits a crime, all right? Like, for instance, the, the guy that was that was uh, um, with the ship in Italy when he wrote when he when he rode too close to the shoreline. Right? That wasn't a one-time incident. He had done that tens of times. Sure, I would. And he got and he, and he got careless. So in other words, it was that was just the culmination of many acts Dive of, uh, of God, right? <laughs> so what yeah. I'm saying is that if he didn't take it that extra step, like the, maybe the rock wouldn't have happened. Maybe the rock was he no, set himself I don't up. Know. That's a lot of he set himself up. But I don't know. I hear. I hear. I mean, it probably. I don't know. How do I know? But um, I just know that this is a time that Hashem got angry. This is one of the times that Hashem got angry, and it's out of context for him to get angry because he wasn't getting angry the whole time. Comes Rashi, it just it makes it more complicated. It says Rashi, Rabbi Shua ben Karcha Oimer, Kol Haroin Af Shibatayra, Noimer Boy Nemar Boy Roshan. Vizeh Loi Nemar Boy Roshan. What does it mean? Whenever Hashem gets angry, it has an effect. Hiroshim is an effect. Over here, Hashem got angry, 
and blew it away. I can also act outside of my leaders. Right. <laughs> and amazing. And right. Every meaning, meaning we don't find anywhere that Moshe Rabbeinu was in any way disadvantaged. Exactly the opposite of what you're saying. So, what do you think about? It? You, want, you don't say that this is what caused him not to go into Eretz Yisrael. This is what caused him to hit the rock. This is what caused him to to something. He was. At, we don't find that he was disadvantaged in any way at all. We just found Hashem got angry. And then Hashem continues to talk. And then after I got angry, don't worry, I'll send Aaron with you. He's a big talker. And not only that, he'll be happy to see you. He'll, he'll, he'll greet you with two he'll, he'll, he'll greet you not to, not to worry about anything. So Hashem, like the anger was like um, a second kilo. And, and, and Rashi says, didn't make a Roshim at all. Meaning, this this was, I, I, I believe, uh, again, I, uh, permit me, that, that I believe that this was an emotion, like, like a, a, an out of Midah response to an out of Midah response. Shlach no Tishlach was a frustration, but Yichar Hashem was a frustration. Okay, we both got that out of the way. Now let's go further. <laughs> now let's go further. So you see, you see that there's... Um, there's the, the, the there's a limo to here. By the way, Rashi brings, I think, but if not Rashi, then bring the Gemara brings and Zvachim, that Rav Shem Bar Yochai argued with this, and he said no. Yeah, Rashi brings. Rav Shem Bar Yochai says no. That that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu was meant to be a Kohen, and because of this, he be, he became a Levi, which needs an immune unto itself. Like 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 why is that? But he's be a Kohen. Hmm? He's be the Kohen Gadol. if he would have been a Kohen, obviously he would have been the Kohen Gadol. So Haloi Harad Achicha Hu Yen Leviacho was a, was a, a sort of an odish of Rishon Rishon Baruch Hu. But Rishon Ben Karach says it Loi Asa Bar Rishon. It didn't it didn't make a Rishon at all. So it's it's reminiscent. Let me just say this. It's reminiscent to the Gemara in in um, Brachas Dav Zayin. The Gemara Brachas Dav Zayin says that that talks about Bilam. It talks about Moshe Rabbeinu. That that Hashem said. Let me give you some instructions here. Hashem said to Moshe, the Gemara says, let me give you some instructions here. Um, don't talk to me when I'm angry. Hamten anshiyavar es hazah. The Gemara says that Bilam knew how to figure out when Hashem was angry, and that's when he would curse Klai Yisrael. But it's hamten li anshiyavar hazah. Just wait a second, literally a second. And the, and the rega, ki rega ba'apoy, chayim b'ritzoy na'i. Think about the Pasa, ki rega ba'apoy, one second he's angry, but Chayim Ritzayin. The Ratzayin is a Ratzayin of Chayim. So the 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 limud here says the time of is that this this um, this anger is coming from this even this anger is coming from a completely different place than the anger that we're familiar with. It's a Charonaf. A Charonaf is a Charonaf, and a Charonaf we're, we're we're comfortable with. I just want to uh, one more one more thing before we just finish the words of time of I mentioned the. Um, Mr. Miliar of Dessler on Sunday, and I just brought it, so I want to, I want to read it to you. And we'll finish it, and we'll be on to the next meeting. Rav Dessler says, Matsasi Kasuv Bisfarim Hakdoshim. I found in the Svarim Hakdoshim. He doesn't say where he saw it. Ki atam asher bikesh Moshe Rabbeinu olav ha-shalom hareni na es kvoi decha tekev achar slichas maisa egel. An interesting thing, like, Klai Yisrael and Hashem have a fight. <laughs> argument. Argument about the ego. Moshe Rabbeinu is the great advocate for Klai Yisrael, and he's saying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, <coughs> okay, after 40 days, Salach Tikit Barach. A lot of Slichas went into this. Salach Tikit Barach. You talk me into it. Av Salach. It should be the time to leave well enough alone, and, um, you know, you know, sometimes like you argue, you argue, you argue. You see people do this, and when you when, when, when you know you see this with your kids, when you say yes, they're out of there quick <laughs> before you change your mind. You know, it's just gone. You know, okay, thank you. Consolidate your I notice when people come and ask for a hunter and something. 
<laughs> and uh, like a host of them. That, and that, like, it's like, it's just, it's just like an interesting thing. Like, you know, if, 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 you, if you give a sock that people don't want to hear, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but you know, if you give, the, as, soon as, you, as soon as you say, okay, choo, <laughs> where'd you go? <laughs> like, it's, like, they were just waiting for that last. So, you know, so Moshe Rabbeinu um, should have, like, Salachti Kid Varecha, you know, okay, I forgive them, go down the mountain, talk to the people, for, like, that's it. So, What's, what does he do? No, he stays there, and he pursues this. You forgive me? So after you get Rafa, already knows quite good. Now let me see what you look like. I want to see. I want to see what you look like. The the the, the most unreasonable request in human history. <laughs> I want to see what you look like. What do I look like? Like you're other Machai. You can't know what I look like. So says Rav Dessler. Because the moment that the charon af is gone, is that wild? That that the moment the charon af is gone, it's an nice rutzen. <laughs> it's not blank. It's not par. It's not neutral. It becomes an ace rutzum. Why? 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 Why would that be? Swear about Joshim say so. But why? Why would it be? And he brings a raya. He brings a raya. From uh, interestingly, Mashkiach the Gate Seven Panovich. Brings a raya from the founding of the modern state of Israel. Po mashanu po bo achsha ba eretz hakadosha. Now that we're living here in Eretz Yisrael, kasha la hagdira keis kaschalta de gula. I'm not saying that, like, I'm not a Rav Kuknik. I'm not saying it's the aschalta de gula. Avol akol panim. He says, but and then can't you just see chasadim gedola b'dakatsa la katsa him? We just finished the Holocaust, harod af, and here we are. In Eretz Yisrael, miracles, rubbish miracles, like Chasadim Gedola. Mikseh ha-Yisurin shel Charban shel Sheshes Alfei Alofim Me'acheinu, six million. Yigdar Hashem is up here, it's Hashem should only replace. El HaKotz HaSheni, all of a sudden we're on the other end of the spectrum. His Yashvus HaMenu B'Medinas, B'Medinasai, we have our own country, Eretz HaKedoshim. If I popularize this paragraph, people will stop learning this. That there, that there's a like the pshat is there's a lot of pshat in it. There's a lot of pshat. A lot of people speak about it. But his pshat is that when when charona af is over, when a charona af is over, so an ace rotzayin and ace rachamim come in. The tamar dvara comes and he says and he brings his tamar dvara that the pshat and that is. That if it would be that Hashem is angry, you know, and he says, if I'm angry because I'm angry, like a human is angry, like you offended me, you know, you hurt me, how could you do this to me? If, if I'm angry because, like, like that, so then, so when I say, I'm, there, there's a nice ratza. No nice ratza, just get out of my face. No, okay, so like a king, you know, like, and I don't want to see you again. But if the pshat and the whole anger is that I want Klai Yisrael to do tshuva, if, the, if, the, if, if it's, if it's Klai Yisrael centered and not God centered this anger, so the whole thing was Eisratzo. The whole thing was Eisratzo. It was an Eisratzo from the very beginning. The only thing is, the punim of Hashem during the first part of it was an Eisratzo where he was trying to talk to us about tshuva through Haranath. And now he's trying to talk to us about tshuva through Ava. So the minute that that changes, the moment that that changes, that, that ruach changes, there's a sea change in the spirit, Moshe Rabbeinu says, oh, now I can tap into the, the ruts. In fact, you could even say more. You can say that when Hashem was angry, he's really coming. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a real gilui here. There's a real gilui. There's a gilui ashkina. Now, I don't like the gilui ashkina when it looks like a holocaust. <laughs> no, nobody likes that. But uh, uh, who can tolerate that? But once you take away the Yisurim from the Gilu Yashkina, then you have the, the Ava of Hashem in the Gilu Yashkina. And that, and that Moshe Rabbeinu was able to ask for. And he says, that's the Pshat in, in Eretz Yisrael.
So, so he says here, just sort of one, one more, his language here, which is so beautiful. It says it was safer to our chapter. Umidas loy heches equal ad apoy. He stackled our lechera. He says like this. This is his take on the Torah dvar. Kesha Hashem Yisbarach goes there Yisurin. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says time for Yisurin. Hainu Holocaust. Hainu shiyum adu mehem biyasu tshuva. The whole point of it is. That people should learn from these Yisurim and do tshuva. And if whoever doesn't do tshuva, ain't lo yoy tikva. You didn't do tshuva, so what? What are we? What are we going to do now? It didn't work. It didn't work. Did it work? I don't know. Did Goyes roll the tshuva with the Holocaust? Not, not on a not on a mass level. Interesting. There was more tshuva done during the Six Day War than there was during the Holocaust. So. Ka'amar, and then Hashem says, as the Pasuk says, Lashav, he kesi es b'neichem, Musr lo'i lo'kachu. I hit them, I hurt them for nothing. They didn't take my Musr. That would have been a better way, because the Musr of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Avo yesho yedetza, says Hashem, but I have another way of doing it. The Hainu Shashem Yisbaruch, pitoi misnaye berachamim gedolim lamalo mikol hashara. Let me try something else, says Hashem. Let me try Sabrachamim Gedolim, which is beyond anybody's imagination. And even from those that didn't learn from the Yisurim, this might work. I don't, I'm not sure, I haven't figured out, or I don't know if I will ever figure out, why this is the, the um, plan B. Why couldn't it be the plan A? Like, why couldn't... Why, why couldn't this be the first uh, derech to get us to do this? He has to show, to show us that we, have, we can suffer. Suffering is, is something that makes you think. You so, so you say you get something for if free, there would have not, just been the miracles of, of, of the state of Israel, there wouldn't have been a Baal Shuva movement. But it's not. only, is it like you're saying, like yeah. a big, you had to write an essay about this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's only the miracles of of the Milchemet Sheisha Tayyabim and the establishment of Israel, which come after the Holocaust, which make it which make it an ingredient for tshuva. So, the uh, Eretz Israel comes from. You see, you wanted the Midas Adin first. It's a different tarets. Different tarets. There's always a preference to Midas Adin because it's more Amos. You should have come without Adin. Right. But I'll call upon them. This the, the the key words here are these four words. Avoyesh od Eitzah. When the Yisurim don't work, there's an Eitzah of Chesed. Rachamim gedolim, Rachamim gedolim, lamalo mikol hashara, afilo loizem shaloilam dumei Yisurim. For those that didn't get it, when when the Yisurim are coming around, there's such a thing as getting it, and they didn't get it. Kibazet pesach gadol ifnei adam ha'isapchus mina katzel ha'katzel. When you see, and this is his terrors, I don't think it, maybe it's a third. It's, when you see a ma'apecha, when you see such a turnaround from night to, to day, you have to wonder about it. Mikotza yisurim, likotza hanachas, from the ksei of yisurim to the ksei of nachas, tzarek shi yoyrez es ha'adam ki maisa Hashem heima. There's no other teretz except for to say it's maisa Hashem. How could it be? Now, Yitzhiz and Tzrayim. Me'afei lolo ergonol. Now the the emphasis I don't want to I don't want to ruin the party, but but the, the so many because of this um, unbelievable stira between good and evil, like how could it be that the same God that was doing Holocaust last year is doing State of Israel this year? Like, like what's how how could it be? Um, because of those kind of things in history, whole religions have started because people could not could simply not imagine that it's the same Hakadosh Baruch Hu that's doing this, both of these things, hence dualism and polytheism and Zoroastrianism and all the, all the different, all the different uh, God of good, God of evil, God of the sun, God of the moon, God of the, all, all of that is about the, being, trying to be miyashev, uh, the steer. But the backdrop for Klai Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem 
Like the bat, we don't go there. We let the bat drop to everything is that there's only one Akadosh Baruch Hu. So now, as, as, a, as a, a, and this is why, by the way, um, when, if a person, God forbid, dies, Al, al- Kiddush Hashem, I guess it's a God forbid, if a person dies, God forbid, Al Kiddush Hashem. So the, the correct thing to do is to say Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. It's Rabbi Kiva's Kiddush. Nobody knew to say this before. I think Rabbi Kiva was the one who was Machadish's Minhag of saying Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Like it's all about, it's all about the Achdus of Akharish Baruch Hu, and it's all, therefore, whether it's coming in a derech of Yisurim or whether it's coming in a derech of Ava, whether it's a Shoah, whether it's a Medina, whatever it might be, it's all a Sratzainu. It's all really a, a, a Gilui of the Shechina. What, what, what a Gavaldi to think. So, like, so like to, to, to sum it up, means to say that, that something very deep here, that if we're getting angry about something, is it what, like what is it? Like the the, the thing that you're honking. Is this a Gilui Shechina or is it just like <laughs> what what is what is what is the honk? I mean, you know, like you honk in the house, you honk in shul, people honk all over the place, honk, honk, honk. You're always honking, you know, like what 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 is this? What is it? So um, this is this is where Akharish Baruch Hu is Megala his Ava. The Haraya immediately after he says Salah Tibi Durachim, Osher Rabbeinu says, oh, let me, I'm not going away because this is, this is an Ezra Ratzim. Not because he said Salah Tibi Durachim, but because he was angry. So somehow or another, if we're getting angry at somebody, or whatever the correct word is, um, if, we're, if we have this Charon Av, it has to be a manifestation of Ava. It has to be an Ezra Ratzim. A, a person has an argument with their spouse, it has to be an Ezra Ratzim. It's not an ace rechuk, it's an ace kiruv. It's an ace kiruv. It's, 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 it's actually um, an act of intimacy. Because what's, what's happening here is that there's a meeting which could be very painful. It can be very painful and it can be very, um, feel like it's very um, separating. But in reality, what's happening is, is klipas are, are coming down. If, if, and this is the big if, if it's, if it's out of av and if it's Hashem Shabbai. And if it's not out of Ava, boom, we're in court. But if it is out of Ava, what's happening here is, is, is it becomes an Ace Ratzah. And then immediately after the anger subsides, okay, Salah Tikit Varecha, the words that we all want to hear, I forgive you. So, so when I forgive you, that's a, that's a time for, that's an Ace Ratzah, that's a time for even more Ava. It's, it's, such a, it's such an unbelievable difference. So just to finish the thought, I'm sorry, is the, to, to, to conclude the thought is we, we're talking about different ways that you can know if the anger is the correct kind of anger or the incorrect kind of anger. One is if it's out of control. Another is it coming from gaiva. And another way of knowing whether it's the Amazon anger is that, that, that anger ha-kesheira, anger ha-teira, ha-tehoira, um, is always followed by a sratzo. And that's, that's the simon. So therefore, it says the Shulchan Aruch already, that if a person gets angry at their child for doing something wrong, after you finish getting angry at your child for doing something wrong, and got the message, give him a hug. Tell him you're sorry. The guy says, <laughs> yeah, tell him, no, I'm sorry, but uh, it's, there's, there's Ahava here. It's a, it's a din. It's a din. The guy explains this in Shulchan Aruch, and in Mishle, he explains that this is, this is how you know, says the guy in Mishle, the difference between a makas oyev, enemy, and a makas ohev, a lover that a makas ohev always always comes with a hug. Um, it, it, it's a whole different. It's all different. So so well, not just because it's a better educational technique, but because that's the um, because we're talking a shratzon here. We're talking a shratzon here. We're talking a. Uh, yeah. when, I, when I was um, a number of years ago, there was a, a Rebbitzin who taught me a wonderful tool um, to put this in practice. Which is that very often when it's kas, when it's when it is coming from gaiva and it's coming from an emotional seat, there will be physiological responses that you can detect. So if you if you feel that there's a a, a matzav of anger coming on, take a moment. If you if you have a regish of those physiological responses, step back for a moment and assess what's going on and, take a deep and breath. see how you want to respond. <laughs> and take is, a deep this, breath. is this the unhealthy kas or is this the appropriate kind of, uh, of, of response? That it's, it, and 99% of the time, yeah. it's probably something yeah. you don't want to respond that way. Rebbe, but, but listen Rebbe to the Rebbe Lapiad said, I think, that his father 
had a uh, special coat in the closet that he used to wear whenever he used to patch him. <laughs> special yeah, belt. Ask you once, how come you're so calm? He said, what I do whenever I, I think I'm going to get upset, I project myself one year from now, I put myself one year in the future, will I be upset at this incident? And or how will I look? <laughs> in one year's time, will I feel the same way? Right. And there will right. So a year has already regarded with Kavadetsky, you got to have a big head. But if you look up, this is Ravel Yulapiad's father. By the time I get to the closet, I get my coat. So, like, you know. <laughs> so if it's, if it's like uh, educational anger, so what's the difference? It takes five minutes, ten minutes. But if it's, if it's, if it's just I'm losing it, yeah. I thought it was part of his abode. It was, it, was, it, was, it was like his tip package. No, without doing a bit of that. Rabbi Nachman says that uh, whenever you get your, an, your, your prayers answered, that's the Yitzhak right song. You should ask for more. Yeah, I think there's a Rashi someplace. Rashi says whenever you thank Hashem. Rashi says you should always follow it up with his filah. Learn it out from from uh, Levi, from Leia. Leia said, "Apam oides Hashem, v'tam oid miletas." Then she stopped giving birth. Right. Why? Because she didn't take advantage of the age drugs. Right. 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 Uh, the important thing. My dog. 